Hey everybody, David again with Shadow Six Creations. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take some air drying clay, some sculpting tools, and we're going to make some rocks. So I want to make some rocks for the diorama, uh, for the tiger, you know, and, and what we're going to be doing here is kind of making a, like a layered rock. Um, so the big thing that we need is some air drying clay. Um, be careful with the air drying clay. Don't let it dry out. And don't let the whole package dry out, I should say. You know, and, and the big thing that we're going to be doing here is just kind of molding it around. And getting it ready to be used. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to make a, like a tiered rock. Kind of make it look like there's a, there's a few rocks resting on each other. So I've got some... Sculpting tools, I've got just a basic plastic tool and a little roller to kind of roll things out with. So let's go ahead and get started and kind of see what we can come up with. Now, you want to go for something as natural as possible. Um, and you want to kind of make it look like it's been out in the weathering for a while. Uh, for these rocks, I'm probably going to do... Kind of like a basalt gray or even a reddish color um, where I live. There's rocks out here. Uh, some of the mountains have, have red tint to them. But it just kind of depends on what you're going for. So you want to make these look as, as authentic and as real as possible. I'm definitely not artistic by any way shape or form um, but this you know what we're kind of doing with this is just giving the appearance of a rock you know something that 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 the army would come across um, something that a tank can use for cover anything along those lines so something kind of like this and then what we can actually do is mold them together uh, and give it the appearance that it's all one piece um, just kind of depends on what you're going for. Uh, me, I'm probably just going to make these nice and rough. You know, just make it look like uh, they've been there for millions of years. Uh, try to get some of these wrinkles out from the gloves. Okay. So basically what we have here are our rocks and with these I'm gonna kind of start putting them together and what I'm going to try and do is mold them together make it look like it's all one piece now you don't have to do it this way this is just what I'm doing just kind of as a demonstration type of deal And you want to make it to where there's going to be, you're going to have some, some chances for some shadows. Like a shadowing effect. So that's basically all that I'm doing on this. Kind of smoothing everything out. Bring it together, kind of try to make it look as authentic as possible. You can make it as clean or as rough as you want. Kind of clean that up a little bit. That way it doesn't look so... There we go. 
give it some ridges and effects. Okay. And then for this one, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to kind of smooth everything out. Just want to kind of make it look more authentic. Now you kind of kind of move a little bit quick with this particular clay. Uh, this is air drying clay. I mean, it's gonna take it's gonna take some time for it to actually be able to uh, smooth that or take it, give it some time to be able to completely set. But in the meantime, you want to be able to start doing your effects and everything on it. So we're going to make it look like it's got some cracks in it. We're going to make it look like it's got some lower parts. Now blending in, just blending everything kind of in. That way there's not too many creases. You want to make it look like an actual rock. Something that's been there for thousands of years. Kind of make it rough and ready. I mean, that's essentially what, what the rocks are going to look like. Okay. Awesome. So now if we wanted to, we can stack these. We can make them look like the rocks have fallen over. We can um, stack them up. We can do whatever we want. So in this case, we're just going to leave them the way they are. And what we're going to do is we're going to use kind of a, a neutral gray, neutral-ish gray, I should say, to put on here to kind of bring it to life a little bit. So let's take a look here. There we go. So I've got a couple of colors here, bumping the camera as usual okay I'm gonna grab a couple of brushes got some of our brushes and there we go so we're gonna go ahead and use this like this nice little dolphin gray I'm gonna use a lighter color because what I want to do is be able to highlight and dry brush in um, different variations of the color as well. So let's go ahead and drop a little bit in here. All right. Now you want to be careful that you're not brushing too hard. That way it doesn't mess up the effects of what you got in there. Do you know in this case what we're going to do is use a larger brush. That way we can go ahead and just coat our clay quickly. I'm just going to take this a little bit to dry uh, the paint as well as the actual rock or as the actual clay I should say. And then once that does what we're going to do is we're going to start applying some washes and go with some a shade darker on some of these colors. 
So in essence, what we're going to do is layering. There we go. Now, I'm not going to really worry too much about the bottom because it's not going to be seen. The other reason I'm using a lighter color is I want to show how a wash really makes this look um, more realistic. It brings out the shadows. It's going to bring out a lot of depth to your actual model or in this case your rocks. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and let these dry for, oh, I'd say about a half an hour. Let the paint dry, let it set. We're gonna come back and we're gonna start on doing some washes. Okay, let's take a look. All right. A couple spots still need to dry. Might have missed a couple of spots, but that's not bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to bring out um, the recesses of this. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use game wash. Okay, so this is just a black wash. We're going to go ahead and put some of that down. All right, and now we're going to start adding the effect to the actual. As a matter of fact, we're going to use this one. What that's going to do is that's going to set into the cracks. It's going to set into uh, the lower areas of the rock to to give it um, to let the recesses and to let the lower portions of the area come out and pop. Now, if there's excess, we can always wipe that away. Right. So it doesn't look like a, a traditional rock with a color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All we're doing is just basically making something that kind of looks like it's been out in the environment for a while. Um, and one of the next things we're going to use is just a slightly darker shade of gray. Kind of start highlighting it. And all I'm doing is I'm hitting the higher ridges, areas where the basically the higher parts of the rocks. So basically anywhere that is not um, that's higher up from where the shadowing effect is sitting, that is getting the wash. Now it doesn't look the best. This is just a giving you a rough idea where to go. Um, 
and I'm and I'm learning to do this better myself. This is something that I've never actually done. But, you know, like most of my videos, I just want to take you on that journey with me. Kind of give us some idea. Give you some ideas on how to make it look, um, what it is that you want, and go from there. Now, as you can see, I'm just running the brush over the the clay. I'm not actually um, letting it go into the recesses. Now, if you feel you need to, definitely you can always add a little bit more wash to the actual rock. But this is kind of our gist as to how to kind of get you going on making your own. Just let you see all the detail. And we're gonna make more as we go along. Uh, it's definitely something I wanna do for the diorama. So, um, hopefully, hopefully this kind of points you in the right direction. You can get some ideas where to go. Um, in the next video, we're gonna start laying down the grass uh, the grass mat for the diorama and start putting our rocks in place and we're going to start working on the infantry. So from here, give it a try and I'll see you down the road.